Lighting is one of the most important parts of photography and shadows are a big part of lighting and that's what we're going to be talking about today is shadows. So are you ready? Let's get started. and welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a visual content expert and I help product-based business owners to create standout pictures of their products so that they can increase their engagement and their sales. Now, if you want to learn more about what I do, please check out the links in the description and also make sure you subscribe to this channel to get notified when I put new videos out. So shadows, what are they and why are they so important? Let's have a look at this diagram. Here we have a cup sitting on a table. Light from the sun is traveling towards the cup along the yellow arrow. And on the other side of the cup, we have this dark area, which is the shadow. This is caused because the cup is blocking the light from reaching that area. Therefore, the shadow is always going to be on the side of the product furthest from the light source. However, when light hits the surface, some of the light is absorbed, the pink arrow, and some of the light bounces off the surface, the green arrows. Some of this bounced light can end up in the shadow, which is why shadows are not completely black. If you want to learn more about this, then please check out my video on how light works. The link is in the description. So that is what shadows are. Now let's talk about why they are so important. Photography is all about light and shadows are a natural part of that. Therefore, you need to have realistic looking shadows in all of your images. Otherwise, when your customers look at your photo, they're gonna be able to tell that something is wrong. And that's just going to give them less confidence and less trust in your photos and your brand, which as a small business, you really don't want. So think about your shadows when you are shooting and just make sure that they are looking realistic. Also be consistent with the type of shadows and the location of your shadows in your photos. This will help to make your website look more professional and ensure that the customers are looking at your product and not the shadows or other parts of the image. So this is the end of part one on shadows in product photography. In a couple of weeks, I'll be releasing a part two of this training, which we will be talking about how to work with shadows to get the results that you are looking for. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel to get notified when that video goes live. Next week, I'm gonna be doing another shop review. Now, if you want to be in with the chance of having your shop reviewed, please go and join my Facebook group. The link is in the description. Every month inside that group, I share a post where you can enter your shop into the competition for having a shop review. Thanks for watching.